Hello Marvel Heroes fans, I understand that some of you are new to the game and uh, you know you've just hit 60, you have watched my video on uh, what to do after level 60 but you still want to sort of like uh, farm for some very specific items that you like to uh, make your hero stronger or more powerful. Um, I totally understand that because uh, that is what this game is about to getting more powerful and so on the f gear farming is a very important aspect of the game and I've got uh, in-game in queries as well as the queries in YouTube as well so I thought I'd make a short video on the sharing with you my experience when it comes to farming for uh, certain items uh, where, where, where are the places to go you know kind of thing and uh, fun as well um, so by and large when, 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 you are, when you are gearing your hero um, there are a couple of things you should look out for the first thing is the artifact now artifacts drop from anywhere in, 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 in the game so uh, there, there are some areas that, are, that, are, that, that has more artifacts I'll, I'll highlight to you later on and uh, you know then, then of course you have to get a medallion that uh, suitable for your hero um, and also you have to get all the, uh, the, the, the so-called unique as well. I'll share with you in this video where to get all these items, the ring as well as the uh, team insignia, all right? So all in all, I have 10 tips for you when it comes to uh, farming the gear. So the first tips is, okay, so some of these are really obvious, but I thought, you know, sometimes it, it's all right to just show, you know, share, share the obvious to you. So the first thing you should do is to play your level 60 heroes, because if you don't play your level 60 heroes, uh, those gear will not drop. Because when it comes to gear dropping, it's, um, most likely it's dropping for your hero. Uh, so most, most of the items that you get will be for your hero, but sometimes you do get you know, other heroes as well. And it's always at your level. So if you do not play level 60 hero, then you will not get level 60 items. So that's tip number one. Uh, tip number two is that um, you know, re reward usually certain, uh, certainly is, uh, well, most of the time reward is uh, related to the difficulties of the content. So things like X Defense or Holocene, uh, by and large, they are pretty easy content. I haven't really seen a lot of like great drop from those uh, if you want to do uh, just a few waves, you know, um, for, for your share quest. So um, contents like that, uh, you know, because things are easy, like red terminal, green terminals, those are stuff that you may collect your cube shard. Uh, those are easy terminal and by and large, it's very hard to, uh, to, to get any, any decent gear from those um, uh, terminal. You may do it for your legendary quest, get your extra Odin Mark and so on, but that's about it. So that's tip number two. Usually harder contents reward you with better gear, all right? Uh, the number three is that, um, you know, as you level, you may collect uh, uh, unique gears. Uh, you may collect multiple unique gear. So it, it is good to know that uh, you, you could no actually uh, exchange for, for duplicate gear. So for instance, if you have like a four duplicate gear, you could uh, um, uh, get a random usable unit for your hero. So it's, it's a better chance to get a level 60 hero because it's, all, it's always level 60. So you may have like uh, during your leveling call like a couple of like um, uh, unique that may be uh, no longer useful for you. So you could just throw four inside and get one uh, uh, level 60 uh, unique that may or may not be useful for you, but it is for your hero. Another way is that, um, another quick way is um, you can go to gear and you can upgrade the, uh, the the unique to level 60 now it has quite a high cost to it which is about um, 600,000 uh, credit and uh, it does cost you two unthemal molecule that um, as for new user uh, new players you may not have it uh, I, I do have quite a lot of uh, unstable molecule that looks like something like 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 this sort of stuff right so you know these are unstable molecule but um, um, I, I don't really strongly advise you to go through this route to get your unique to level 60 but however the choice is there if you if really bad luck couldn't get certain slot and have to get your upgrade so that's tip number three is that you could upgrade your your unique bias uh, via the crafter all right um, another way to 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 for me uh, to get unique is that you just continue doing doing a share quest because uh, share quest like like all this like uh, I, I usually skip the the last one because you know uh, I, I don't really like the content but you may you may prefer to do it I, I usually either do the uh, midtown or, or the uh, you know the petrol uh, share quest as well as terminal share quest because it gives you stuff like this the the boxes like this the share quest uh, reward re reward uh, boxes and um, these boxes have quite a good chance of getting unique item when you open them uh, it, it's not guaranteed but um, you know it, it has a better chance than than, than other things that um, that you play this game so you know I, I would strongly advise just try to do some share quests you know get some tokens anyway um, 
and get some OD mark through the share quest. So you know, do the share quest, get those uh those chats and try try a lot with the unique. I do I do see some. So that's tip number, uh number five. Okay, uh events events is important because you know in this game is full of full of events. Uh, every every week there will be a one event come up. So for this week, for instance, it's Odin event. Now Odin event, what happened is that uh, they'll they'll tell you there's a broadcast saying that um, the loot rotation is not live and go to head to Mita Manhattan. And um, you know when, when you see messages like that, uh, they, they, sometimes they ask you to go to uh, to terminal. Sometimes they ask you to go to an industrial city patrol. Sometimes they ask you to go to X defense. One you should skip the X defense. Um, when, when you see it, when you hear a broadcast like that, uh, some, sometimes it's good to drop whatever you're doing. You may be leveling your uh, your hero, other heroes. Just pick your level sixty hero and go through this uh, this thing because it, you know by by by. By defeating the bosses, you get stuff like um sorry, you get stuff like uh like all these Odin Odin bounty boxes, and these are pretty good. So what I would do is that um, and uh, I mean by the way, these are the these are area you can go to the Midtown Patrol. There are two two versions to it. One is the normal one, is the cosmic. Uh, if you are gearing your hero, uh, most likely you may want to stick with the normal one because you know it's more efficient to. To, to, to defeat a boss in that content rather than the uh, Cosmic Patrol because Cosmic Patrol could be pretty hard especially if you are playing a melee hero alright um, so what are we playing I mean all these uh, chests I, I actually would like to open some chests uh, for, for, for you to see what, what you're playing for. for for those who may not know what I'm talking about when it comes to all these goodies uh, so when it comes to um, uh, all these chests. Oh, by the way, uh, some of you may be new to the game as well. You you can vaporize your your loot uh, by by this option here. You can actually vaporize all this by leveling your pets. So all right. So leveling your pets is also very important for a new player. Uh, so basically, it you know it, it is this this pet here. You like to get the affixes that you want, and you can keep resetting it through the crafter. Um, and turning the vaporize on uh, save you a lot of time to try to loot things and, and donate them because it's just too many steps there. Uh, so I'm going to open all these checks at one go um, uh, and, and just you know show you how how good they are. So the first few is uh, of course the the one you no. Know, uh, from my share quest, there's no unique there. Uh, I was hoping there was some. But if you open some of these guys here, very likely you you will see some uh, unique item. Uh, so far, there's still none, uh, which is okay. So it's already one unique there, and uh, so I'm just uh, open all of them. I hope it doesn't crash because if it crash, then I lose all my items, including the uh, the only mark which I'll cry. And uh, okay, second unique come out. So I mean third unique, fourth unique, I think. Uh, I lose track already, so I just keep pumping them. And these are very easy to get. I mean, you know, for for each boss you drop one, and each uh, each event. I mean, each uh, event within the Mita Manhattan may have like um, uh, of, you know three to five bosses. So you know, what have I got? I've got like uh, one unique, two unique, three unique, and four cool. unique from all these uh, you know uh, stuff there. And and these are all level sixty unique, of course, because I'm playing my hero. Um, so it it is important to to to. To use the event to add your advantage. Now, Odin event is only one of the events out there. There are many other e events, such as the like, like for instance, there's something called a cosmic event, whereby uh, if you do a cosmic terminal and so on, you 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 have a better chance to get uh, the the boss specific uh, unique um, you know uh, items as well as medallion and so on. So, um, so these are the things that you you should uh, watch out for. If you want to gear up your your unique, uh, it's very good to pay attention to all these events out there. There there's so many events in this game. And every and they, they just want you to play and you know get get the stuff. But you have to follow the game because they they, they set this game up. Yeah. So you know you have to okay. So this this week we are running through the rotation as per the um, the, the broadcast. All right. Uh, then then you may next next week could be something else and the week after could be something else. So uh, you just have to follow uh, what. The, the, the whole thing is uh, doing there, all right? Um, also, there are some events that have some server side boost, by the way. Um, those events, like, like the, uh, so, so I think one of the armor events, I can't remember which one it is, that has uh, escalated um, uh, server side boost. And if you have booster, uh, that rare item find, I find that it is beneficial. Even the, the cheap one that you have, like, um, you know, those you get free from the story mode, you can actually consume them and get a boost to yourself. Uh, but only use those booster, my advice to you, only use those booster if the server boost is high, all right? Um, so that's uh, that's number six. Okay, number seven is that uh, use the LF uh, uh, looking for group uh, uh, looking for group channel. Looking for group channel looks something like this. If you click this little button here, 
or little um, a setting button there, uh, you will see something called LFG, looking for a group. This is a wonderful place for you to get um, you know uh, into groups with other because it. For, for fresh uh, level 60, when your gear is not top-notch yet, uh, it, sometimes it's not that efficient to do things alone. Sometimes it's good to grab group together and, and do it together, all right? And, and, and it's full of messages like, you know, uh, someone looking for farms, like for instance, LF looking for more, LFM is looking for more, uh, Cosmic uh, Mayhem Manhattan, you know, th those things could... Uh, 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 come in handy. Like some is at Hydra, you can you can you can reply and say invite Hydra. Like people say, some say that they are at the zoo. Uh, these are all one short terminals and so on. So these are really really good stuff that um that you could uh, you know just reply, just tune into this channel. I usually uh, turn off the uh, the 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 so called um. I usually turn off the uh, this this social or whatever it is. But uh, you know just uh, 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 I would strongly suggest that uh, you could, um, you know, tune into LFG, and whenever there's something that come up to you that's relevant to what you're doing, just reply. And, and, and I, I know not all of you are comfortable in uh, in, in grouping with others, but uh, no, this is a very casual game. You can group with others. You don't need to say a thing, a word, or whatnot. Just do your do your stuff that you do, and then after that, you just uh, leave the gram by right clicking here just leave the group and that's it you know you don't need to um, worry too much about all this like um, do I have to socialize do I need to talk to people um, I'm, a sh I'm shine so you know uh, I wouldn't want to talk to people kind of thing. don't worry about it just join a group people invite you accept it do the thing that you want to do leave it's very casual environment all right so LFG is important because it uh, helps you to do certain things that you alone uh, may not be able to all right Sorry, this is a good tea. Um, so tip number eight is that um, you, you, you have to, I think at some point in time, you have to go into this uh, cosmic uh, boss uh, rushing. Uh, I, I've got some video in the past. I think I may do a bonus video. I'm not sure about it. I've, I've still been thinking. I will pick a hero that I do not have any Omega points and the gear is crap just to simulate the kind of like new user, new player kind of like, uh, you know, setup. And uh, I, I'll try to just show you when, when, you, when, when you do a cosmic boss rush, what you need to look out for when you, when you play against, uh, you know, boss that could be quite powerful. Um, but eventually you have to do it now for, for many good reasons. To, to go into cosmic uh, terminal is through here. You only can be done by level 60. And uh, these are all the terminals out there. Each of, I think most bosses will have their uh, boss specific unique as well as boss specific and or boss specific artifacts. All right. So each one of them have something that you can, you can farm for. And uh, very, they all have different difficulties like, uh, you know, uh, like Taskmaster and Hood and and even shocker autobus these are the easier one the first four then you get a little bit harder as you go down here uh, in general although i don't think mandarin is that hard but uh, in general you get a little bit harder as you go down uh, i think uh, curse is one of the hardest uh, same, uh, so 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 is doom all right and uh, why why you would like to play the cosmic terminal is that it help you gear quite a lot of things um um, it help you gear the, the the cosmic medallion, of course. If there are some medallion that you have your 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 you know eyes set on them, uh, I think cosmic cosmic terminal is is the answer to it. You you probably need to farm like uh, it, it doesn't take too long, all right. Uh, it does drop quite often, but the roll may not be great, so you may need to do it quite often. But for some of them, like for instance, this is from curse terminal, and uh, this is from doom terminal. Now these artifacts are really hard to farm. Uh, usually it takes about um, I don't want to scare you, but uh, it may take up to like 250 times of farming the same boss in order to have a chance of it dropping. And then you can use a crafter to reroll the affixes to, to, to the one that you, you feel is high enough for you. It costs a credit and, and some material, but it's totally worth it. Um, and, and stuff like this, uh, like Mars of the Zone, like for instance, drop from Magneto. So uh, I, I, um, I, I strongly suggest that you could go into some website like marvelheroes.com. Info. Uh, it has a lot of information there uh, that tell you all these uh, various boss specific uh, loots as well as the maximum row that they have, um, each items have. So, you know, take a look at that. Uh, but I, I cannot stress enough the importance of farming for, for items because, you know, and, and of course, when it comes to um, Cosmic Terminal, you always ask to yourself, do you, do you want to do Bounty or not? Uh, bounty also have a chance to drop the boss uh, items. I, um, I think except for them, some of the shorter ones like Curse, I, I still feel that it's more efficient just to go in for the kill and come back out, you know. And uh, you should see improvement as, you, as, as your, your gear uh, improve. 
to, the turnaround should be very fast for you to make that even uh, viable to, to boss rush. Uh, but having said that, I mean, you know, if, if, if you do have difficulties in rushing a boss, uh, you can always join some groups out there. They will ask you like, you know, I want to, you know, they, they want to start a group rushing boss and who would like to, you know, go in to, to do together. Always sign up for it. So uh, just to repeat, if you want to farm for gears, forget about green or red terminals. It will not give you a very likely, very very rarely it will give you anything useful all right so just just drop that go cosmic um tip number tip um, number number nine so that was uh cosmic boss rush number nine is cosmic petrol uh cosmic petrol as of now is one of the hardest content um you can solo or you can join a group these are pretty brutal stuff especially if you are playing heroes that are not really um uh, strong enough for this kind of environment uh like melee hero is usually a little bit of disadvantage in that kind of environment uh, you could try it and if you feel yourself dying a lot in this kind of terminal most likely it's not for you because you know it, it is just not fun to, to keep um, responding and responding and responding just to conquer content out there it could either mean that uh, the hero design is not good for this kind of uh, gameplay which is totally not your fault or it could mean that you still have some way to go in your gearing before you can close the gap to conquer the car content all right uh, you could join other people like you know when people start a group for cosmic midtown petrol or cosmic industrial city petrol you could do that um, but um, you know Again, it, it wouldn't save you too much if you are really fragile, your hero is really fragile, all right? And, and on that note, maybe I would like to also highlight to you for Industrial City Patrol, it does drop a unique ring like this one here. Uh, so it is quite a nice ring. So it, it always, uh, there's, there's only a few types to it. It's always the same kind of affixes. It always have the one that is either range, melee, physical, uh, mental or energy for the first affix. Second affix is always crit damage. Third affix is always the relevant crit to that power on the first affix. And the fourth affix is always buffing the, the, the flat damage. And the fifth affix is on the uh, health. Then of course plus one rank to all power. So um, this one is relatively easy to, to, to get. You can even get it from the normal uh, in the industrial. I've seen it in the, in the normal mode as well. So, you know, in, in the event whereby you're unable to, to conquer the uh, cosmic industrial city patrol, uh, I mean, that's not the end of the world. The, the, the normal industrial city patrol has has you know I've seen it dropping quite a fair bit. All right, so so that that is uh, something that you you know absolutely don't need to worry. Just keep playing the content, and uh, I, I think the uh, from I, I think before I go on to the further, I, I think I'm I'm to, reaching towards the end here. Um, the uh, and, and and I guess for the for the rings. Um, it does drop everywhere. That there's no specific place except this uh, industrial city signal, signal. Uh, the the cosmic ring drops everywhere. So you know you, you don't need really need to farm the rings for it. Uh, insignia as well. It drops everywhere. It's not something that you could somewhere that you could drop it. But bear in mind, my first uh, my my second tips is that the reward usually uh, is correlated to the kind of like difficulty of the content. So the harder the content, the more of this. And I've seen it drop quite a fair bit from the cosmic the terminal or cosmic um, uh, petrol as well. Artifact drop everywhere, but artifact has a has a level to it. So if you are playing a level ten a hero, you'll never see this one at all. So always play a level sixty hero, and this will just come along. There's no specific places unless you are talking about some event specific artifacts like this one here uh, from the event vendor in the uh, Avenger Tower. I just want to just make sure that you know what I'm talking about. It's important that um, uh, you, you know where there are some areas that you could um, you could get some some artifact. Um, uh, is is these guys here? So no, all of them has some. Uh, okay, so this. probably not this one. Sorry, back. Oh no, no, actually this one as well. If you have enough files, you no, this one is unique. Sorry. Uh, so you 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 got this one here that has some of these uh, you know artifacts, you know. Uh, or I mean, not that they are great, but um, you know that there are some of them are very specific to certain hero, and there are some for hybrid as well. So you know, do bear in mind that there there are places for you to fill up if you are playing like hybrid hero and so on. All right. So um. So where was I? So I hope this video helps you to um, 
understand cover all these items where you can farm them and so on and uh, and, and all these unique and team exceptional so on so I just repeat again all right from 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 tip number one to tip number nine and plus the last one that I'm going to share with you so the first one is always play a level 60 heroes you know that drops the level 60 gear that you want second one is reward always correlated to the difficulties level the third one is that you could upgrade your unique you can exchange low level unique for level 60 unique uh, then tip number four is that that um, uh, oh actually I missed out tip number four. Tip number four is that you do have lock in the you know all these uh, lock in uh, 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 lock in the uh, so called uh, reward that when, as you lock in every day they give you some random random unique uh, reward. Open it with your level sixty hero. Do not open it with your low level hero because otherwise you end up with a low level unique. Which I hope you know. Uh, I mean, to me, it's just a waste of uh, waste of unique. If you, unless you're a cosmic uh, prestige, your hero. All right. So uh, tip number five is that uh, do the share quest and and those chests that from a share quest very high possibility to get a unique. Uh, number six is observe the event. All right. Number seven, use the LFG uh, channel, the looking for group channel. You can you can turn off the social one uh, because it's too much noise, but turn on the LFG. That's really good for you. Number eight is that try your best to build up your hero so that, so that you can rush the uh, cosmic bosses because that is where uh, a lot of like good um, relative, relatively good looks come loot come from there uh, if if your hero is strong enough try out the cosmic patrol and the very last tips is really just enjoy the game because you know um, I, I I, I think over time I've seen Marvel heroes that change uh, the, the philosophy had that uh, if you play the game you get rewarded anyway so uh, I, I do see that sometimes when I play story mode um, some units actually drop actually drop from there so you know don't, don't get too stressed up about the whole thing just enjoy the game and the unit will come so yeah thank you for watching and uh, if you've got any questions and so on uh, drop me a note here or drop me a note in uh, in, 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 in YouTube or, or, or in game right bye Okay, this is a bonus clip for the new player. It's not for your advanced player at all because uh, I purposely pick a hero that I haven't played for a long time. I haven't got a chance to gear this hero at all. Just you know, imagine you may not have the right runes and you may you know you may not have the right legendary as well. Uh, but you still want to farm cosmic bosses and uh, you want to, to so, so called like uh, see your improvement. Uh, you know over time and uh, and for this very simulation uh, I, I have even taken off all my hero synergy system because for a new player you may not have that many level 60 heroes or the right one that you can pick from uh, also I have not assigned any of my Omega pawns for this uh, Nightfaller here as well so just to you know keep it real I mean I do have a whole set of unique um, but uh, other than that, everything else is very much like a, like a like a fresh level sixty with not many uh, uh, you know things that I can go by. So the first thing I usually go uh, go for is the Taskmaster because it's one of the easiest one, and also its map is quite predictable. And I like predict predictable maps because I I know that I will not make a mistake getting to him. And uh, the the very important thing is to get to him fast so that um, you know. Uh, so, so that you can start farming the terminal. Now the first thing you need to do is that uh, you need to read the affixes of the box. So what does it have? It's a feed footer, uh, Sentinel Invasion, great, uh, Cosmic, uh, whatever, Hell Hydra. So you know, when you see Sentinel affixion, uh, uh, Invasion, very importantly is to deal with the Sentinel first. Forget, forget about the rest. And, uh, and you have to down the Sentinel ASAP. Now the Hydra one is very much like, um, uh, like the um, Okay, the Hydra is just a little pet that's more annoying than anything. But in, in, in as much as possible, uh, get the uh, Sentinel down first. So that is your first uh, priority of business. And avoid all the charges and the shield, whatever it is. And meanwhile, try to detest on the boss if you can. Sentinel spawn, go for the Sentinel, alright? So get out, uh, because you know that you're not going to make it. Uh, stealth and go in. Doom, then, okay, so they only, they only have three Sentinels. Uh, that is a good news, and uh, it will not have more than three sentinels. So now you can focus on getting your boss, and uh, now you can do your thing, and you know, know as much as possible, and to avoid any of these uh, things that may kill you unnecessarily. And uh, now that was a stupid move, and go into the to the to the to the blue circle of death. Um, very exciting. Uh, so I need to get out from from this whole thing, and uh, yeah, the boss charges, and uh, okay, okay. And uh, I need to just uh, punish the boss somehow. Get out from here, teleport, and the, uh, avoid the shield. Get out. Alright. 
uh, what? And sometimes you have to take some risk and that's fine But uh, you know, know what you are risking for like now is actually he's going to charge So get out, get out, get out And um, and it's a lot of hi the Hydra one is very bad because of the uh, the, the projectile thingy uh, un Unlike the, uh, uh, the, the Molloy that um, but I mean sometimes you, you can't really you know uh, avoid all these things I mean you know it happens right so yeah I mean it takes a while but uh, you know, I think the more important thing is that you can do it and that is more important than anything else all right so again lay down the thing and uh, it's not getting anywhere getting a bit impatient uh, but that's okay everybody get a bit impatient in this game and uh, I think it's going to get, get it done all right so I can just whatever whatever all right so Okay, uh, it's done. Now, like I said, this is not a video about um, about kill time and so on. It's more like showing you when it comes to the cosmic boss rush, what to look out for. A fix is important because you need to, to be aware of what is hurting you and how to avoid take avoidance action because if your Omega uh, points is not high and you don't have a lot of right gear, you can't really stand there and eat all the damages. And it depends on hero as well, hero design as well. So um, study each boss have their own move. Uh, study for each boss and you know try to avoid like for instance if you talk about taskmaster try to avoid the charging try to avoid the shield that you know it hit you once and you bounce back you you know it's going to bounce back so you better move away but you can eat it but then you know when you eat it and you charge and you die and then you have to start from from the entrance again so always always perseverance always stay alive is very important uh, when you come to cosmic uh, farming but the good news is that uh, once you get the hang of it it will get faster each time you play it because you know you get used to it you get faster you know the limit that you can go for and at the end of the day you are only competing against yourself because you know it is the, the kill time is only going to get improved uh, and as you get better gear and better gear and so on uh, you will see drastic improvement trust me on that so uh, I hope this is uh, useful and uh, just uh, stay stay hopeful even for new player you you can you can enjoy some of this content as well uh, I strongly suggest that you keep practicing on all right uh, so I hope that's, uh, that's, that's all the useful tips that you can get from this video and do drop me on looks and so on if you need help, more help and uh, have a great day. Alright, bye.